How you doing? Good morning. Happy Saturday, y'all. I'm going to make cake. So if you're watching, make sure you say, hey, KJ. If you're not watching, make sure you say, I ain't watching this. And if you're watching the replay, please comment hashtag replay so I know you got a chance to see it because it's important to me that I know. It keeps the video bumped, keeps it active, all that jazz. If you're watching on YouTube, also say hi. Good morning. So y'all, hey April, how you doing? Hey Rita. I'm gonna make cake. I've been wanting some cake, ladies and gents, maybe gents, I don't know. Is there any gents? Probably not. Ladies, I've been wanting some cake. I've been thinking lately that it has been a long, long time since I've had a Trimtastic cake. So I thought I would make a two layer Trimtastic cake, one with a coconut layer and one with a chocolate layer because I saw somebody do that on the Trimtastic page and I thought, on the Trimtastic page, on the THM page, and I thought, that is genius. So um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I do know that I'm gonna wing it. I know that's shocking that I would wing a recipe with my hair down so I can get a hair or two in the cake. Oh, I'm so glad you had a good time in Branson. Hey, Sherry Joe over on YouTube. Hey, Sherry Parsons. Yes, Sandy Smith, you caught me live, girl. Listen, fair warning, this may be a long video. Takes a while to make a cake. Takes a while to bake it. I'm gonna do it from beginning to end. Maybe, we'll see. So, all right. If you haven't made, I did. I swore I got out everything I needed and guess what I didn't get out? Ye old zucchini. I think it's up here, actually. Oh, it's up here with the rotten banana. That's nasty. This is my zucchini. Someone gave me a zucchini. I'm gonna peel it. And I'm gonna get out my this thing of a jigger. And I'm gonna shred it in here. And I'm gonna use a combination of pumpkin and zucchini. And like I said, I'm gonna make one layer that is completely pumpkin flavor and one layer that is not. Doesn't it sound good, Shirley? Are you being, are you making fun? I think it sounds good. Chocolate and pumpkin together, they go together, girl. This is a tough zucchini. Holy moly. There's a bag on the floor. I'm not just throwing zucchini on the floor. I haven't fallen that far yet. So what are y'all doing today? Tell me, it's Saturday. What's going on in, this, in your world today? I plan on filming some things, plan on working on holy healthy holidays because October is about to begin, y'all. If you're not in on holy healthy holidays, you need to get on that. Time is running short for the promo deal and Overcomer October is coming at ya. We are going to talk about being overcomers in our health. I know it's hard. It's hard, seriously, to be on this journey. Hey, mom. It is not, oh, this looks a little questionable. Oh, well, whatever. Who cares? Does that orange in the middle mean I should eat it? I don't know. I don't care. I'm going to eat it anyway. I'll only die a little bit. I ain't died yet from eating questionable veggies. One of these days, maybe. Today ain't that day. Anywho, Overcomer October. What does it mean to be an overcomer for your health? Girl, I have had some obstacles to my health over the years. Nothing major. I haven't had any major, terrible, horrible diagnoses, but I have dealt with my fair share 
of misery when it comes to my health, of doubting myself, of believing I could never be that girl, that I could never be that girl that's healthy. I could look at other girls and say, I wish I could be like that. Well, guess what I can be? It's up to me. It's not up to her. It's not up to my husband. It's not up to my parents. It's not up to my kid. It's not up to my neighbor. It's not up to my coworker. It's up to nobody but me. It's my choice. I get to be healthy if I want to be healthy. I just have to do the work and stop making excuses. And November is going to be no excuses November. We're going to talk about excuses we make about our health and our journey. And we're going to learn how to stop making silly excuses. Or why you should stop making silly excuses. And you're going to get those excuses out of your head. And then in December, wait, take out the blade, KJ. Take out the blade. And then in December, it's going to be do it December. We're just going to do it. We're talking about doing it despite the odds. Doing it when it's difficult. Doing it when you don't want to. Doing it anyway. And it's going to be, because how hard is it to be on plan over Christmas? Not as hard as you think. But in our heads, I can't do that. I can't stay healthy over Christmas. I can't. I can't not eat the good stuff over Christmas. That's what we think, isn't it? Don't you tell me you ain't, because I know what you're thinking. I know you better than that. Get in there, boy. Spinning around. Come on. in there. Why won't you chop up? Whatever. Um, I, Tina, it, that thing smells funny. It's all right. It'll be all right. It's all right. Fermented foods are good for your health. Um, Tina, I am making a Trimtastic cake, a two-layer Trimtastic cake. One layer is going to be pumpkin, and one layer is going to be chocolate. I got a couple of chunks in here that went through but didn't get chopped. I don't want those in my cake. All right, so those three months, Overcomer October, no excuses December. Nope, no excuses November. And do it December is what we're gonna be focusing on. For $239, you get three months of group coaching, okay? You also get, whoops, I didn't wanna put that in there yet. I have to weigh it, measure it, I have to measure it. Do it right, KJ. You're a professional. $239, three months of group coaching. Six classes. What are the six classes? Well, I'll tell you, but I can only do one thing at a time. So let me do this first. Make the cake. That's the instruction. Trim, trim the zucchini and chop it into a few pieces and food process in a food processor so it is not mush, but broken down into very tiny pieces. Add the remaining cake ingredients and process until well combined. So I'm supposed to do it all in my food processor, right? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I was. Well, now I gotta take this out because I gotta put the blade in. All right, I'm gonna do the pumpkin layer first and then I'm gonna add the cocoa. I'm gonna try to use one recipe to break it into two pieces. I don't even know if I can do that, but it's my kitchen. I can do whatever I want. Nobody can tell me otherwise. So we'll wing it and see what happens. All right, one and a third to a half a scant cup of zucchini. So. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do about half of what it calls for and then I'm gonna do the other half in pumpkin. And I don't know how much is in here. It's what's left in a can after having coffee with it. So that's how much. Open a can of pumpkin, make a latte in the morning and a latte in the afternoon and French toast with pumpkin and then use whatever is left in your cake. 
That's how you do it. Four large eggs, that seems like a lot. It's been years since I made this cake. I used to make this with chocolate chip cookie dough frosting, but now I'm gonna make it dairy light, dairy free. Is there any dairy in this? If not, I'm gonna make it dairy free. I'm gonna make dairy free frosting. Don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna wing it. Dairy light, because I'm gonna use butter, because I'm not cutting butter out of my diet. Forget it. All right, three quarters cup of baking blend. That's baking, not bacon, because bacon would taste weird in this cake. Three quarters of a cup. Don't you guys like my saucy nails? Aren't they like minxy? Ha ta ta. Make me feel all feisty. A little bacon blend. What else? Some gentle sweet. Hey, Lena. How you doing, girl? Gen that seems like a lot of gentle sweet. Well, it was right. Some gentle sweet. An eighth of a teaspoon of pure stevia. So an eighth of a teaspoon. If this is one thirty second, an eighth would be what? Two of these? Two thirty seconds is one eighth, right? No. Nope. Four thirty seconds would be one eighth, right? Yes, four. So four dunks. You know, if they're gonna provide you a dunker, then they should really tell you how many dunks that is. Because some of us are not that good at math. Some vanilla. Can I help you, Tilson? Is there something I can get for you? Other than a face? All right, a little vanilla. Teaspoon of baking powder. Yeah, it looks about right. Teaspoon of baking soda. I have the world's most gigantic box of baking soda. Don't ask me why. Tell someone to put some in the toilet for some reason. I don't know. That looks about right. Once a month. Once a month. Put baking soda in your toilet. Don't ask me what it does, but apparently it's necessary. It helps the bacteria. Gross. That's just gross. All right. Two pinches of mineral salt. Where's my salt? It's over here. Because I ate it on my olive garden last night. I had the OG last night for supper. Twas tasty. All right. Four tablespoons of cocoa powder. No. Not doing that. Third of a cup of sweetened chocolate chips. Okay. I think that looks about right. What else? No butter? I thought there was butter in here. There is. I skipped over it. Four tablespoons. Or whatever remains in the bottom of your nasty, dirty butter dish. That looks somewhere, I don't know. That's close enough. It will work. It'll work. Baking is not a science, despite what they tell you on the Food Network. Where is my cover? It's in here. Oh, that probably doesn't belong in there. You know, it's fiber. It's organic. Hair is organic. It's okay, don't panic. I am making half Trimtastic chocolate cake, Dawn, and half pumpkin Trimtastic. I'm winging it. Shocker. did Luann. Luann. Everybody give her a round of applause. 70 pounds. You just got a round of applause from Tilson. Girl, that is amazeballs. Congratulations. Good for you. Good for you. Do you know the impact on your life? I mean, I'm sure you do. But the health impact of losing 70 pounds. That's a problem. That, a toddler? That's Toddler's like, a, like 25. No, no, I meant that's like a third grade. That's like a kindergarten class. Good job. That's amazing. The impact of that is unreal. Some significant life changingness. All right. 
I'm gonna put um, parchment on the bottom of my thingies because I think it works better than Pam or anything else. I'm also gonna put Pam. I'm gonna make sure it don't stick. I need some scissors. Oven's hot. I want a new oven so bad. I want a Viking. My oven's great. It works fine. I just want a Viking. If we, I've turned diva with cooking. If we lived in a house as big as one of buds, I mean, with the skill level behind my cooking that is clearly top notch, I should have a Viking. If anybody ha wants to buy me a Viking, I'll give you my address. <laughs> I want a red one. I don't want to paint my kitchen all white, including the cupboards. Ugh. Don't, uh. Look. You have no style, yeah, Tillson. Okay. When we had our last place, and I wanted to do the it was so This is not my strength, cutting on the lines. One pound takes an equivalent of four pounds of pressure off your knees. That means, Luann, you have taken 280 pounds of pressure off your knees. That's pretty significant, my friend. That's pretty significant. All right. Spray it up. Let's put half of that in there and see what happens. It's either going to be amazing or not. Does it matter? As long as it's edible, that's all I care about. Actually, no, it'll taste delightful. I know it will. Because I'm an amazing chef. <laughs> My daughter was buttering me up for something last night. I don't know why. She said, this Olive Garden is good, but it's not as good as your cooking, Mom. Okay, then why did we just spend $50? I could have made dinner here for five. She was talking about cooking. She said, that's what you do best. Yeah, she said, that's what you do best, Mom. Cooking. Then why are we spending money at OG? No, this is... Alright. There's half the batter. There's a pumpkin layer. Pumpkin chocolate chip layer. This shouldn't have to cook long because I'm doing two layers and that makes it nice and thin. You're making a pumpkin pie. Huh? You're making a pumpkin pie. No, I'm making pumpkin cake. Mm -hmm. Why? You want pumpkin pie? You make a pumpkin pie? It, it, it's not even something like I'll make you a pumpkin pie. I've got some pumpkin here. All right, now I'm going to put some chocolate in there and make another layer that's chocolate pumpkin. Why not? Chocolate. All right, I don't know. About a couple, three tablespoons, well, maybe four, whatever. Some chocolate. I should rename this to Precision Kitchen. Not enough in there to mix up. Oh, well, I took the blade out. I don't know if you know this. Pro tip. A food processor does not function without a blade. Did you know that? Send it back. Oh, I know, Karen. I want Viking, I want a Viking, I want a bigger house and a Viking kitchen. I have aspirations. So let's go to the Viking one. They're $10,000 for a kitchen set, minimum, minimum. A Viking stove is like eight grand. I'll never have a Viking stove unless I win the old mega box. And I make it to Hollywood. <laughs> That's my first purchase. I mean, the Food Network is knocking on my door. I mean, why wouldn't they be? Look at this skill. Go to Hollywood, me and Mary will be there. Luann, you lost 70 pounds at 69 years old. That, that is twice as amazing as losing 70 pounds in your 30s because it is twice as difficult when you get to 69, your metabolism, your hormones are completely out of whack. And your metabolism is slower. 
Good for you. Boy, I'm proud. I am so proud of you. That is just... Trim Healthy Mom is the real deal, y'all. If you are not... If you're just watching me because you're like, who is this weirdo? And you Maybe don't know what... Right, but still. Oh, whoops. I forgot to spray my pan. You, right. You're right that I'm possibly slightly weird. And that's okay. I own my weird. Um, if... Care. If you don't know what Trim Healthy Mama is, you go to my website, www.joyfullifeofkj.com and click on coaching classes and go look at the Sparks class. It will teach you everything you need to know to learn Trim Healthy Mama and get you on a life-changing journey. And if you are a Trim Healthy Mama, a lot of us go through the holidays not being so Trim Healthy Mama. And then Monday, Monday, January 1st comes around. Are you from here, Luann? Are you from Maine? You just said wicked. Are you from New England? Where are you from, girl? Saying wicked awesome. She's my kind of girl. She said wicked awesome. Um, anyway, if you are a trim healthy mama and usually you get to the holidays, you get to Halloween, and your kids come home with 40 pounds of chocolate and you're like, you know what? I'm just going to have a bite or two. And then... Your Thanksgiving rolls around, and you're like, okay, I'm going to eat off plan on Thanksgiving because, you know, it's Thanksgiving. I'm going to enjoy the food that I've been blessed with. So I'm going to eat off plan on Thanksgiving. And then the day after Thanksgiving, you're like, well, I got enough leftovers for four weeks, so I might as well eat them all. And then you're like, you know what? Christmas is right around the corner, so I might as well just stay off plan until Christmas. But January 1st, I'm going to do it. If you are sick of that cycle, I went through that cycle every year of my life. If you're sick of it, you want to be in Holy Healthy Holidays because we're going to stay on plan all, all year, all October, November, and December. And I'm going to tell you about my classes in a minute. All right, look at that. Chocolate chip pumpkin and chocolate chip chocolate. All right, let's put them in the oven. While those bake, we'll make frosting and maybe a latte because... AJ needs one. All right, timer 25. We'll check it in 25 minutes. I told you this was going to be a long video. You're just going to have to stick around for the long haul. Okay, here's the classes I have coming up. Are you ready? I have to remember them all. I may need some help. Actually, I can open my website. JoyfulLifeWithKJ.com Coaching. Oh, wait, how do I, wait, wait, I can't even find it on my own website. It's hotter than a hoochie coochie in here. All right. Well, nice and rubber on the Georgia asphalt, that help. Yeah, maybe. Okay, the first class we have coming up, are you ready? It's called Oh My Gourd. And we are going to make, it's on October 21st, we are going to make a bacon gouda and pumpkin souffle and a healthy pumpkin roll, a deliciously healthy pumpkin roll. On October 28th, we are going to have scary sweets class and we are going to make Milky Way Crunch Bars and Almond Joy. You don't have to feel deprived. Milky Way Crunch Bars and Almond Joy, okay? Last year we made Snickers and Junior Mints and all the things. Um, then... On November 18th, we are going to have Thankful for Trimmings, where we are going to make sweet potato casserole and no-carb easy bread stuffing. Get your no-carb easy bread as soon as it comes back in stock. If, if it doesn't come back in stock before then, I'll, I'll update it with something else. Um, on November 28th, we are having I Saw Mommy eating appetizers, and we are going to make no-carb easy bread veggie pizza and salted caramel butter bites. Tell me that does not sound worth the whole price of admission salted caramel butter bites. On December 9th, we are going to have Merry Christmas, you filthy animal with the dirty sound and treats. And by dirty, I don't mean naughty. I mean muddy buddies and down and dirty peanut butter pie. On December 17th, we are having, I did put baking blend in it, Rita. On December 17th, we are having, it's beginning to look a lot like breakfast and we are going to make no carb, easy bread, cinnamon roll, Christmas trees and eggnog so those are the six classes here are your options individual classes $24 a piece all classes $125 saves you 25 something $125 or 
holy healthy holidays, $239, all your classes and three months of coaching in my group and my group is fire. Okay, now what? Let's make, let's make some frosting and while I'm making this frosting, I want you to be thinking about a yummy lot ice latte that I can make and I'll make it. Think of some flavors and I'll make you one. I'll wing it. I know I never do anything like winging it, but we'll do it today. You never know, I might come up with the world's best recipe. That is amazing, Karen. And also, 33 pounds is a lot of weight. Go lift something that's 33 pounds. I mean, that's significant. And here's the thing. We don't, we, do we celebrate weight loss? Yes, but you know what? I celebrate even more than weight loss and that is healthy lifestyle because we focus on the number on a piece of hunk of metal from Walmart to define whether we're doing good or not. And inside our body, our blood pressure is changing, our cholesterol is changing, we're reducing our risk of heart disease, we're reducing, reducing our risk of diabetes. <laughs> we are changing our DNA. If the scale doesn't move, but those things do, what's more important? Yeah, I get it, we all wanna lose weight. But what's more important? Yes, Jennifer, you absolutely can. If you are a member of Flames, and this weekend I'm going to be working on it, if you want to be part of Holy Healthy Holidays, let me know. I will pause your monthly membership, send you an invoice for $239, and then at the end of three months your, your subscription will pick back up. Unless you tell me otherwise. All right, let's make some frosting. I'm going to take, I have never done this. I don't know. We're going to figure it out together. Um, this should be slightly soft. I want it slightly firm, but not melted. Stick of butter. What's up, Paula Dean? Stick of butter. Slightly soft. And then full fat extra thick coconut cream. It's just coconut. Dairy free. Gonna do some, well, I say dairy free, but I guess butter is technically dairy, right? Uh, dairy light. Cause I'm not giving up butter for no butter flavored coconut oil. Did I put my thing on inside out? My apron's on inside out. They've been laughing at you the whole time. They just want to say Crying out <laughs> loud, nobody could have told me. Yes, but your screen's usually backwards, which means your apron actually looked right. No, it flips it. Um, Vicki, two packs and no carb easy bread. We're making veggie pizza and um, Christmas rolls. Wait, and stuffing, three packs. Three packs of no carb easy bread. Um, but if, if for the stuffing you wanted to make a crossover, you could um, use sprouted bread and it would be crossover. Okay. Butter, a stick of butter. What else? <coughs> Coconut cream. <coughs> I'm going to try to just get the thick parts. Thick like Tilson's hat. Um. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. There we go, that'll work. Oh, I thought that would give me the thick stuff. Well, I guess it did. I guess it did. I gotta wipe this off. as I anticipated. All right, I'm gonna use that liquid in my latte. I don't know, will this work? 
I literally have no idea. Um, Marion, it's coconut cream. I've never made frosting out of it before, but supposedly it works like a charm. So, and then I have all this coconut milk. I'll use that in my latte. Make it extra creamy rich. All right, what else? Sweetener, it needs sweetener. I'm gonna use Swerve because I like it in frosting. Uh, where is my Swerve? What do you think I did with that? Right here. It's just like, tastes like coconut, surely. It's shocking, I know, that coconut cream would taste like coconut, but it does. But maybe we can change it enough that I'm gonna make it pumpkin spicy flavored. I don't know, let's start with that and then we'll add more. A little vanilla. And let's do some pumpkin spice flavor. Oh, you know what? Let's put chocolate chips in there too. That'd be good. That'd be good, chocolate chip frosting. Chocolate pumpkin spice chip frosting. That sounds delightful. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, I read how to make frosting out of coconut cream and I eyeballed it, but look what it's doing. It's like separating the liquid. Am I supposed to take that liquid out? I don't know. I've never made dairy-free frosting before. I'm not an expert. Let's take it out. I'll put that in my latte too. What, Shelly? Why? It's good. You can use real vanilla. I'm just not that bougie. Butter can take like six to eight minutes to incorporate. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So I'll stand here for a while longer. frostings to me just a tiny bit so I prefer this um, for frosting y'all make frost have you made frosting a lot out of coconut cream Marion I've never done it to stand here and look at you. 
awkwardly. Right. Two hours later. 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 Well, I can't say it like you say it. Later. Huh? Air? Two hours later. Sarah McNutt says, morning, Tilson. Gee is allowed. Gee is allowed, Shelly. I'm not dairy sensitive. Like, I'm not, um, huh? Gee. Oh, he's French. Um, I am not dairy free. I'm just dairy light. So I can eat butter and I can eat dairy. I'm just trying to slow my roll. Because I could eat a brick of cream cheese with a spoon like a boss. Ghee is on plan. Yes, ghee is an S. Yep. Yes, this is on plan, Karen. It's a personal choice because of the prebiotic oligosaccharides. Um, so is brown swerve, but I use it all the time. It's fine. It's fine. I use the brown all the time. Yes, that works too, Don. Grinding up your pure and stuff, it works good. But somebody already did the work, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. I got it on sale on the old Zon. I got two bags of this and two bags of swerve brown for cheaper. It's getting much fluffier. I think we're probably good. Let's taste it. It's very coconutty. Very coconutty. It's a bit coconutty. So if you don't like coconut, you may want to reconsider using coconut cream. Mini chips. Dark chocolate chips. I didn't realize they were mini. It didn't say on the package mini. Look how cute they are. Those are totes adorb. Alright, pumpkin spice chocolate chip frosting, dairy free. That looks amazing. I could. I could add chocolate to it, Susan. I don't want to, but I could. There's a chunk of that napkin that got caught in my machine. That'll be good. A little fiber. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. That's good. You would not like it, Shirley. Alright, I'm gonna put it in the fridge it melts quickly. All right. I think I should get rid of these cupcakes. They've been in here for a week. Have you all seen the No Sugar Allowed new product, the celebration cakes? Look at them. They're little birthday cake. They're little white cake with birthday frosting. Aren't they cute? They come with little sprinkles. If you use code Joyful Life, you get 10% off those on No Sugar Allowed's website. They're good. I really like them. I ate almost the whole batch all by myself. All right. What else? Okay. So while the cake is a bacon, let me look at it. It's nowhere near done. I need to slow down. This is going to be a long video. I told you it was going to be a long video. Um, all right, I saw your request, Shirley, pumpkin. I already made a pumpkin one yesterday. Somebody throw out a latte flavor for me. Something fun. Something, something interesting that I can make with coconut milk. Give me some ideas. I could do pumpkin chocolate chip, coconut. I could do... Chia, that's tea. I need coffee, woman. I don't do tea over here at Joyful Life with KJ. Chocolate chip mint. Mm. Ooh, coconut macaroon. I have all of this. 
coconut milk. That may be the winner. Almond Joy. I do have my Almond Joy sweetener right over there. Which I guess Almond Joy and coconut macaroon are the same thing, except there's almonds. Let's do... Caramel is out of my space this morning. Although I could make caramel out of the coconut milk. Cin oh, cinnamon caramel, though. I need to add that to my list to do sometime, Rochelle, because that really sounds good. All right, let's do... I would love to know how you use the Oreo flavored cocoa. Is it called? Yes, it is. Excuse me, Sebastian. This is black cocoa right here. This is what is used in Oreos. Okay. Oreos. Oreos. This is what they use. Okay. This is so good. Okay. I'm going to make... Should I make macaroon or almond joy? I've got almond joy sweetener already made. So I think I'll do almond joy. I think I'll do an almond joy latte. All right, where's my blender? It's over here. I washed it this morning, it's still got a little water in it. All right, let's do an almond joy latte. All right, this, oh, this is gonna be good. This here is perfect because I've already made this. This is Army of Darkness dark chocolate coffee. Use whatever flavor coffee you want. It doesn't have to be dark chocolate. I wish I had some Cool Whip, or not Cool Whip, whipped cream. I don't. All right. Uh, let's do that and let's do this coconut milk. Oh, half a cup. That brings it up to 12 ounces. All right, this is my shelf stable Almond Joy coffee sweetener. Shelf stable. Shelf stable. Yes. Oh my gosh, I have got to tell you guys this last night. What happened? What Marin said last night is so cute. We were playing Minecraft, Marin and I, and by the way, mind blowing the way that kid can build something. I mean, she just flies around and builds like these mansions in no time. And me on the other hand, can't even get the guy to turn sideways without breaking something. Like I, it's terrible, I'm terrible at it. She said, she kept telling me to pull up my inventory. Did I just get coconut grease all over my brand new shirt? Right there on my boobs. Great. Um, she kept saying inventory, pull up your invent, inventory my inventory and then it hit me she was trying to say inventory it said on the screen she thought it was the inventory <laughs> oh i thought it was so funny it's such a cute name for it i just think i just ruined my brand new shirt all right i do have recipes for these shelf stable coffee um shelf stable coffee syrups but they're not on my website yet but I do have them, actually. I'll leave it out in case I need more. All right. Sweetener, coconut milk, coffee. Let's put Sunny in it. Little brain, brain power for the day. A little sunflower lecithin. I'm going to put some Whippy Whip. Nope, not Whippy Whip. Sorry. This is not Whippy Whip. This is whey protein little whey. Um, I'm going to put some chocolate in it, some cocoa. I can't figure it out, Heidi. You got to be like, I'm working IS, you guys. I understand computers. I cannot get the guy to go left or right. Don gets out oil and grease. Rub some on your shirt ASCP. Nobody They're just trying to get you to dump a bowl of dawn. Right. <clears throat> well, this is bringing this video to a whole new level. I'm going to get banned from Facebook for doing this. 
That's a good look. That looks like I'm leaking milk. All right. You're leeching leche. Leeching leche. All right. <laughs> what, um, what else do I need to put in here? I, I need, I got coconut. I got chocolate. I need almond extract. Um, <clears throat> butter. Okay, well, do I not have almond extract? Cake batter, apple, black cherry, maple, cotton candy, strawberry, coffee, root beer, lemon, bacon, mint, peppermint. Okay, well, we're just going to go with pecan and pretend that it's almond. It's an almond joy. Just pretend that was almond extract. Half a teaspoon of almond extract. Just go ahead and assume that that's almond. All right, what else? This feels like an almond joy. I don't think I do, Cindy Wetzel. All right, I got chocolate, coconut. Almond pecan. Um, sweetener, sunny sun, whey protein. I think that's it. All I need now is Brenda to do her job. chocolate syrup. This one may or may not have melted the last time I took it out. Can you see that? My my bricks of handy chocolate syrup are like... <laughs> they melted and then I put it back in the freezer. I don't know why I just rinsed that off. I'm going to use the rest of them, so why did I do that? I made handy chocolate syrup last time. I always make these and put them in my freezer and keep them in there for emergencies. And I have a lot of chocolate emergencies, okay? Um, the last time I made it, I used allulose. Allulose does not solidify the way any other sweetener does. It doesn't, it doesn't get, it's what these are made with. And it's why these have been out for a month and they have no crystals in them. Um, but it does not harden in the freezer. So it's like, almost like fudge. Which I ain't hating, to be honest. All right, let me just make sure I don't have any whippy cream. I know I don't, I don't know why I'm even looking. I don't, I don't have any whippy whip. I need to go to the store. I need to get lots of things, including whippy whip. And delicata because it's delicata season baby have you had delicata yet tell me in the comments if you have that whole it's the most wonderful time of the year no it's not christmas it's delicata season Yes, Susan, did you use it with allulose? Ooh, 
Ooh, that sounds good. Probably Rochelle, but I used all of the, all of the, um, coconut cream. I don't think I could make it with the milk. I think I have to make it from cream, right? Like, I don't think I could turn this into whipped cream, could I? Does somebody that has a clue? No, because if you do, you don't know. You ain't got no clues. Let me look. Tilson. The blues clues. That's about it. Uh, can you make whipped cream from coconut milk? But you know what? You don't have it either, and you're supposed to. Chill your coconut milk in the refrigerator overnight. Well. Let's see what this one says. Yeah, it says I need to have it well chilled. Tis not well chilled. What do you mean see, like you knew? I don't think this is enough. How much is this? This is only 12 ounces. That's not enough. I gotta taste it real quick. Oh man, that is not even remotely sweet enough. Mm, I'll use this. I think I might put a little super sweet in it. I like it sweet. If it's going to taste like a candy bar, I want it to taste like a candy bar. Don't judge me. Over there, Tilson, with your judgy face. Judgy McJudgerson. <laughs> Judgy McTilson. I did add coconut milk, but not enough. Marianne. Alright, I think it's going to be good this time. I can feel it in my bones. See, I was right. It's perfect. It tastes just like an almond joy. Gotta have a little chocolate sauce inside your cup. It's the rules. If you're gonna have fancy lattes, you gotta have lots of handy chocolate syrup so it can pull down at the bottom. Look at that. That looks delightful. All right, let's check on this cake. That one's done. And that one's done too. Gotta get them out and get them cooling ASAP. So that I can frost them live. They're gonna take some time to cool. So let me get them in the fridge. How am I gonna do this? All right. How am I going to do this? This could be bad. Are you ready? You can forget that. He'll never do that. I'll show you when he's in the casket. Until then, you're not going to see his face. Now, that pan is hot. FYI. Alright, there's one layer. I'm such a delicate baker. Alright. 
we go. There's my pumpkin layer. They're thin. This is going to be a thin cake. They're pumpkin layer and chocolate layer. I'm out here with the bugs. don't blow away and I just have to wait patiently for a few minutes surely you've seen his face why do you want the rest of the world to suffer <laughs> I'm just kidding he's handsome <laughs> Well, nobody would win beside the dog. Have you seen that face? Nobody will win beside him. Look at that face. Look at the porno. Come here. Look at the look at the people. Sit. Sit. People want to see you, Bassmaster. Sit, sit, sit down. Sit. Isn't he handsome? Look at that face. You go boy. What's in the pump? Oh, this? The stuff I just put away? That was my Almond Joy coffee syrup. I have a whole set of coffee syrups. I have Almond Joy. I have Cinnamon Dolce. I have Salted Caramel. And then I have one that's um, a base for Frappuccinos. It makes your Frappuccinos Frappy-like. Extra Frappy. He's a loved little guy, isn't he? He's such a good boy. All right, well, we're just going to stand here and chat for a minute. Looks like it's worked. We're just going to talk for a moment. Oh, if you haven't signed up for the summit. It starts on Sunday. Wait, does it? I get my dates confused. When is the summit? Does anybody know? I think it's Sunday. Oh my word. I should probably figure that out considering I'm speaking at it. Um, it is. How do I go to my summit page? Isn't this terrible? I'm so excited for it, and I don't even know when it is. Did we not put a date on any of the graphics? Oh my gosh. This is terrible. I cannot find a date for the summit. I, I think it's next week. Isn't that terrible? My own summit, and I can't figure out when it is. Starting the 25th. It's only 27 bucks, And you get time with myself, Sarah Truitt, Chris Honeycutt, Linda Johnson, Molly Miller, and Rashida. She is the author of Trim Healthy Future, and she's amazeballs, y'all. You're not going to want to miss her talk on staying healthy through the holidays. Her and I... Are right in line and then in October I will be on a um, power hour with coach Canada um, we'll be doing a no cheat challenge in November me in Canada and then all the classes holy healthy holidays I really don't want you to miss it $239 is a bargain, okay, for three months of coaching. And when you're in the coaching, this is what you get, okay? You get access to an exclusive Marco Polo group full, full of other mamas who are like-minded and on the same mission to health that you are, and they encourage and support, lift each other up. It's, it's amazing. Some of the wins coming out of that group okay um, you will get trackers to track your 
your loss, your gains, your emotional gains, your spiritual gains, all of those things, things we gain through the holidays. You are going to get access to all of my past classes, the Methylation Masterclass. If you haven't been part of that, you get that for free while you're in my group coaching. You get access to last year's holiday classes that you can rewatch. You get a weekly challenge every week to participate in if you choose. You get check-ins every single day. You get meal review opportunities every single day. You get different posts every day for encouragement, support, information, teaching, something every day except Sunday is posted. Every single Monday night you get a live Zoom with me, a um, town hall forum type where you just get on and ask your questions, your concerns, you listen to other people's questions and concerns and you grow from that. You get a weekly recorded teaching on a topic every single Monday. There is so much value, you guys, to those three months of group coaching. It's unbelievable. Susan is part of it, and she loves it. She loves it. During the month of August, we did all in August in my group, and there was 170 pounds lost in my group in the month of August. That is huge, huge. So please don't miss out on it. If that's what you want for Christmas, you go tell your husband. Husband. This is what I want for Christmas. I want Overcomer October, No Excuses November, and Do It December with KJ. It's on my website, www.joyfullifekj.com. Okay, hopefully my cake is just about cool. Soon. I'm gonna put a couple of things away. You all can watch me pick up my kitchen because there's not anything more exciting going on in your day, I'm sure. That and watching me clean my kitchen. Sharon, Sharon, 85 pounds, oh my gosh. That is crazy pants, I am so happy for you. 85 pounds, I couldn't lift 85 pounds. If you gave me something 85 pounds, I couldn't lift 50. If you gave me something 85 pounds, I wouldn't be able to get it off the floor. And you've lost that much off your body. The impact of that on your health is just, it's, it's impressive. All right, let me go check the temperature of my cake. It's pretty cold out here in Maine, so it may be ready. Not yet, but close. It is cold. It's chilly. It's cold. There's a difference. <clears throat> All right, what are we gonna talk about while we wait for our cake to cool? I told you this was gonna be a long, awkward pauses in the video. If you're in my group coaching, put your comments on here of what you think of my group coaching. Unless it's negative, then I don't wanna hear it. If you're in my group coaching. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you're, group. if you're in my group coaching, my coaching group, my group coaching. Uh, Melissa, I haven't <sighs> seen it, I'll go look. The new Splenda for baking. <laughs> There is a Splenda that is on plan that's not actually Splenda. It's Stevia and Erythritol, um, but it's under the brand name Stevia. Let's see. Baking. Splenda. I couldn't think of the name. My brain cramped for a minute. Baking Splenda. Do you know what it's called, Melissa? Is it Magic Baker? Splenda Magic Baker? Splenda Magic Baker. Let's see where the magic come from. Comes from says erythritol and allulose. Let me look at the ingredients on the back because I don't trust the front cover. I need to see the ingredients. Oh, 
It says erythritol, allulose, and stevia. So if that is the only ingredients on the back of the package, then yes, it's on plan. Then yes, it's on plan. According to this, okay, here's the picture of the back of the package. I can tell you for sure. Ingredients. It's tiny, who can see that? Erythritol, allulose, and stevia. It's on plan, there you go. Magic Baker. I bet it is good too because allulose is pretty amaze balls. When you say you have no idea what you're able to get, Mary, is that because you can't marry in? Is that because you can't find anything in there? Because I'll touch base with you. I want to make sure you get the most out of your membership. I am here to help you. So if you can't find your way around, you need to let me know because I want you to get as much value out of that group. There is so much information in there. What is the best sweetener that doesn't have the cooling feeling after? That would be allulose in my opinion. In my opinion, allulose has no sweetener uh, cooling effect because it's not a sugar alcohol. Sugar alcohols are what cause the cooling effect, the sugar alcohol, and allulose is not. If you're looking to make syrups, uh, caramel or anything like that, allulose is your best bet. It will not um, crystallize in the fridge. Uh, it makes beautiful caramel. There's a recipe on my website for caramel made out of allulose and it is amazing. Yes, it is easy to cook with. It works great. It's it's one-to-one -one measurement with sugar. I really like it. We're so close. I don't want to do it too warm because my coconut frosting will melt. Why didn't you take the freezer? Because the freezer's full of pizza rolls and burritos. All right, let me get out my frosting. Get a plate and we'll do this thing. I hope I have enough frosting. It looks pretty good. is a little wooden spoon. It's my tool of choice. All right, I'm gonna bring a plate out and get my cake. Not gonna be the world's thickest cake. I'd say if you want a thick cake, you're gonna need to use two batches of Trimtastic. All right, so let's do, but she's sturdy. This chocolate on the bottom. I really should be putting a little bit of frosting underneath it to keep it from sliding around. Did you know that? I bet you did. All frosting in the middle. Should use a paintbrush. A paintbrush? That won't work, Tilson. A spade would work. No, spade Oh, she's pretty sturdy. A fireplace that would work. You did not know what, Susan? What didn't you know? It's hotter than Satan's front porch in here. Nope. Yes, it is. Is that on heat? It is hot. Well, it is hot. I am not a very good cake froster. Oh, you didn't know the frosting on the bottom trick, Susan? Um, Nikki, I made a dairy-free frosting. It's pumpkin spice chocolate chip flavored frosting, and it's not spreading around the sides very well because it's melting on me. 
sometimes my cake's still a little warm. Listen, cakes do not have to be pretty. I ain't presenting this to the queen. Or the king. So I was going to say she's having a hard time eating it. Yeah, she, she wouldn't be able to eat it right now. She's busy. She busy. I ain't presenting it to the king. Come on. I should have made more frosting, yes. I have barely enough frosting to cover this. That's what I'll do. I'll take a picture from the side that has the frosting. The other side may be a little naked. It's all right. Naked. I am sweating. Come on, cover all the holes. I'm so close to having it covered here. I got some naked spots, but I guess it don't really matter, does it? It's cake. All right. I could put a little drizzle of chocolate syrup on there, but I don't know if it will firm back up. Why not? That can hurt nothing. We'll just drizzle a little on there. It'll look ugly. Not real pretty right now. <laughs> Excuse me. See if I make you a pumpkin, cake, pie, whatever it is you asked for. All right, there we go. That looks all right. I'd eat that. Let's cut it open. I've got to take a picture first. Got to have a picture. Hide your face, Dilson. I want your ugly mug in my photos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Leave it just like that. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Let's cut it open. Have, have a piece of cake. Here's my cake cutter. You are late, Dawn. I'm all done. <laughs> I've been cooking for an hour and 12 minutes, girl. This is my brekkie. I'm eating this for breakfast with my latte. Oh, it's nice and melted in the middle. Look at that. That looks good. Let me stick it in the fridge before the frosting melts. Dairy free or dairy light. I did use butter. That looks mighty fine, y'all. Look at that. Mm. It's good. It's going to be even better in the fridge overnight because this cake is, while it's really good, right fresh, it's a star after the overnight in the fridge. Just one star? It becomes five star after overnight in the fridge. It gets so much better when it's cold because it dries out some. Mm. Yum! Are you guys there? That only took an hour and 13 minutes of your morning. If you have any questions about Holy Healthy Holidays, hit me up. Send me a message. I promise I will respond and I will get you set up. If you are part of my group coaching and you want this special price for Holy Healthy Holidays so that it comes out in one cost instead of monthly, you let me know and I'll hook you up. All right. I love you all. Thank you so much for joining this morning. I hope you have a blessed day today. Stay on plan for crying out loud. There's no reason to go off plan on a Saturday. I can think of a million opportunities to win on a Saturday. None of them include off plan foods. Okay. None of them, no matter what circumstance you're in, you can find an on plan choice. Fight me. I know you can. All right. I love you. Have a blessed day. I'll see you back tomorrow morning for devotions and monday oh not monday i will not be live monday i'm getting my old very close veins pulled out so i will not be live monday for breakfast but i will be for devotions all right you guys i love you all have a great day they said something about holding it down while it blends so maybe i should have done that you gonna come